world of kingdoms. In a world of wizards, beasts, and black magic, there was a small species of outcasts, the Pathfinders. The Pathfinders live in a small village off the coast of the sea. They live here in peace, away from the rest of civilization. In this village, there are two small children who are the best of friends. Alice Todd Hunter Moon, a tomboy who likes to be called Todd, and Oscar Sarn, a young Pathfinder boy. When Pathfinders become of age, they join the Pathfinder Circle. This is where they hear stories of the past and learn Pathfinder secrets. Oscar and Todd have just become of age. I'm so excited for the circle! So am I! I hope we get to learn all about our history. History is boring. I just want to learn some secrets. Well, it's almost time. Let's go. Hello, I am Dan. I will be leading your circle tonight. Some of you may recognize me as Alice's father. Anyways, let's get started. Our ancestors were great travelers. They used the ancient ways to get around and were named Pathfinders. They went to the stars on a ship called Pathfinder. In order to reach the stars, they had to reach maximum speed. But So in order to stand maximum speed, they had to ride immersed in liquid. To breathe, they developed gills. Some of us today will still have gills, but we don't know who. The only way to find out is to take a full breath of water. If you have gills, it will be amazing. If you don't, you will die. Wow, do you have gills? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. Well, it's getting late, and you should all go home now. What's that? <gasps> From the deck of the dragon boat, Princess Jenna Heap leans down and takes a look around. Hey, look, it's a little circle of people. The extraordinary wizard, Septimus Heap, comes and peeks over the side of the boat. It's a group of pathfinders! Jenna and Septimus continue to ride until they come across a young lady in a dress living in the House of Forks. Snow Princess Triffa begins to tell Septimus her sad, sad tale. My people lived simple lives. We live in an area surrounded by mountains. Our lands are covered with an enchantment that covers the land in beautiful white snow. This enchantment comes from the Blue Pinnacle, a large tower of lapis lazuli. Inside the tower lived the Great Orm. He ate stone and turned it into the magical lapis lazuli. The Orm died a long time ago, but his egg still resides in the tower. One day, an evil wizard named Oratan Mar came and used slaves to start mining lapis out of the tower. He is trying to steal the Orm egg. It's okay. We will help you. Everything was fine and well planned until Alice heard some strange clicking sounds in her house. What will become of Driffa's egg? What will happen to Oscar and Todd? What are those strange creatures that are stealing children at night? Will the castle ever be the same again? And where in the world did Ferdy go? Read the book, Pathfinder. Find out. Okay, guys, we're finally done. Yeah! <laughs> Wait, whoops. Hello. I, I, I can't do this. I can't look to the side like that. It's called the Pathfinder. And I. <laughs> so. <laughs> Wait, what? Anyways. Let's get started. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that Did you my mouth <laughs> Um, what's my- <laughs> <laughs> Help, help, Freddy is gone. What is this? Trying to find her, but the war, she's gone. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I tried to find her. <laughs> what are you- Guys, we're finally done. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>